Hey guys, so shout out to Tan Shadow for requesting me to draw Oreki um, from this anime, which I cannot pronounce the name of. <laughs> um, basically, I've never seen this anime either, but I wanted to do it since I was requested to draw him. Um, super cute. Um, so anyways, I just decided to draw him with the white shirt, white collared shirt um, reference that I had with like the um, school bag so I thought that was like a nice look to go for um I have to say I did a little bit of research on the anime itself but I'm still not really too certain about it in terms of like what the whole story is necessarily um but basically all I know is that it's kind of a mystery um genre anime and it's based around four kids who work who are in a literature club at school but they basically solve mysteries um every time i search up the anime the anime like this morning i was searching up the anime and all i got were like oh this main girl making or I can feel uncomfortable <laughs> the whole time. So I was like, okay, sure. Um, but just from those clips alone, I wasn't able to get like the genre of the anime. So then I actually had to go and um, onto Google and just search up about the anime itself and what it's about. I didn't really spoil myself too much, to be honest, because it was kind of hard to find information i don't know sometimes when i search up things i type like something that i just basically google what is the anime about and then from there it just said oh it's a mystery anime so i was like oh cool um i've only seen this anime like clips of it when it comes to amvs because i'm someone who like listens and watches amvs um so does my friend and he also said he saw th this anime only based on clips he told me it was a romance anime i guess you could say it's slightly in the mystery and romance category i guess um but yeah it was pretty um interesting but overall drawing the character i thought it would be um, originally I was gonna do, like, the black school uniform that he was wearing, um, but basically my last one was my, my last request that I had was, um, Sotaru Gojo from, uh, Jujutsu, and so I thought that I already did a character with, like, black clothing, so I didn't want to go back to that, so I just started doing, like, the white collared shirt, and that was it. Um, I feel like normally my go-to for, like, simple clothing is either black or white, and it's normally collared shirts or t-shirts, so this is fitting into my category of, like, simple drawings to do. Um, his hair is a bit difficult to draw, honestly. Um, it's kind of strange seeing, um, cause his eyes kind of give that, like, I don't know, this I don't care effect, like, that's because he's apparently um a socially awkward character so like the whole point of like drawing his eyes was based on like how they drew it in the anime but kind of looks like lazy eye to be honest where it's just like i don't care about things um but basically it's kind of weird drawing it in my style because normally i draw characters with like there's only, like, a simple shape to it. Like, they look like they have a straight face. This one is more, like, a different vibe to it. So it was a bit strange seeing it in my style. But I think it turned out okay. Like, I think I made his hair a bit too short. And I started off with like a light brown and then eventually I went to dark browns, but I didn't add so much dark brown, even though his hair is. I guess I wanted to just stick with like adding volume and different shades. 
But, um, again, I didn't, I think I should have just colored in more darker brown tones to it, um, rather than staying safe with, like, lighter colors. For the most part, in most references that I saw of him, he's not really a happy character. He doesn't smile a lot, um, so I decided to just give him, like, this straightforward mouth where it was like, um, I don't know. It's just, it's just a meh expression. <laughs> um... But yeah, overall, I think I kind of drew his hair a tad shorter than it's supposed to be. But yeah, I think... But it's kind of interesting because this is median length hair. I think I'm so used to drawing long hair at this point for characters that it's kind of like... I need more practice on like medium to small to shorter hair. Um, so yeah, and I am now shading in his collared shirt to be fairly honest i almost made his shoulders like muscular because i'm so used to drawing like my hero academia characters and stuff like that where like they have muscle definition so i did my best to not do that <laughs> and to just draw someone who has like an average body instead because this character is not like the buff type of character um but yeah, I think that's my main struggle is like when you go into like an anime that has like super like superheroes or like characters with powers, you're so used to drawing characters with like a certain aesthetic. And then when you like swap to a different anime, that's more like cutesy. This, I don't know the vibe of this um, in terms of like character the artwork it's super pretty i have to say for this anime and it's like super cute like the eyes and everything i feel like with that aesthetic it's kind of different so it's so i'm kind of like out of my element again because i still like haven't drawn um super skinny characters in a while so yeah I do, like, appreciate the fact that some people have been requesting because, to be honest, I always do, like, my own thing in terms of, like, oh, I like these characters, so I'm gonna draw it. So I kind of don't reach out of, like, what I like to do and what I'm used to doing for drawings, but this is actually helping a lot in terms of, like, stuff. But in terms of aesthetic, I feel like there's a lot of animes with, like, um high school or middle school characters so like the aesthetic of what they're wearing is clothing that I'm used to drawing and I really like drawing all the time like collared shirts and stuff like that but yeah um it's basically all I have to say about this drawing <laughs> I think it turned out cute like it's kind of it a bit different whenever I look at my drawings like I don't know whenever I look at my drawings and my hero academia characters I can like sort of you know it feels right in terms of like how I changed it to my style but when I do like other characters I'm kind of like does it look close enough to the character or not so I'm not too sure if it turns out well or not um but yeah but it was super fun to draw um Hopefully, um, if any of you want to request any drawings, I'm supposed to be uploading my Kaya and Diluc one, but I just kind of went into this because I was like, oh, someone requested another drawing, super excited. So I was like, I need to make another video <laughs> right now. Um, but yeah, basically, if you have any other requests, you can leave it in the comment section below. Um... My next video after this, though, I will be posting my Kaya and Diluc drawing just because I need to post that second video, that part two of it, and I still haven't done that. So yeah, that's something that I've kind of been pushing back. So yeah, so... 
hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share leave any requests you have in the description box below no in the comment section below and all my social media is in the description box so hope you guys enjoyed this video bye